Do you wave at boats? <laughs> yes. Do you actually though? Yeah, well, yeah. I wouldn't like, judge you. No, like I would. Like, I, like a hundred percent would. You know, if someone waved to you and me at a boat, I won't just. No, but without boat. someone else waving, would you wave at the boat? Depends on my mood. Really? Yeah, but I would. The point is that I would. I'm not like yeah. No. I feel like it feels um. Would you not? No, I would obviously wave at a boat. I'm not, not really insane nice. and strong. <laughs> This is David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm doing a roundtable discussion with David Johnson and Vivian Opara of Rye Lane, which is coming to Hulu on March 31st, 2023. We're going to talk to them right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. I'll smile a lot. Thank you. And um, we'll start with Stephen. Thank you. Great. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you both. Um, really enjoyed the film. Um, I uh, want to say congratulations on it. I uh, saw it at Sundance and really liked it a lot. So, um, Tell the story about how uh, each of you came to be cast in this movie. Well, well, yeah, I mean, kind of like a standard process in a way. Uh, I definitely mm. got this script sent through and um, read it, and it was completely different to a lot of the stuff that I was being sent through and, and offered, which um, was important to me to like kind of switch it up and do something different, especially like at this stage in my career, uh, which I feel like I've done really nothing. <laughs> so um, to, to to then do that and then meet with Rain, the director, who I think is absolutely brilliant and visionary, and then meet with Vivian, who is uh, incredible, makes everything easy. Was a uh, yeah, it was a um, it was a joy, but that was the process. Yeah, the script sort of landed. In my emails, um, my agent was just like, I think you're gonna really like this one. And I read it and I was like, this is hilarious. Yaz is also very weird. Why is she so weird? Why is she acting like that? It's chaotic in a way that it doesn't resonate with me, but interests me. I really wanted to understand what the emotional core was there for someone who was that much of an escapist um, and that curious for the world around them, but not wanting to go into themselves. So I saw it as a challenge because it felt kind of far away from me. And then Rain is, incredible when I saw she was attached I was eager um and then when I met David I was eager and then <laughs> yeah because no, he's just like a wonderful wonderful actor super generous as well and yeah that's how sort of what the process was great thanks and over to Riley next please yeah, I mean, you two had such amazing chemistry in the movie and you really play off each other well. And I mean, I, I love how like uh, introverted Dom is and how like extroverted Yas is. How did you develop that sort of um, uh, relationship? How did you develop that uh, characterization? Yeah, uh, uh, thank you, by the way. Uh, I, I guess, I guess uh, you definitely do like a lot of work on your own and trying to find who this character is and where they sit, how much of yourself you bring to it and how much of it you have to go searching for. Um, that's always like kind of like, a, 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 you know, first question to me, but then you get into a room with another act actor who's done the exact same thing as you and all that stuff uh, can kind of go out the window. You know what I mean? Because it's all about what they give you and Vivian, as a had knew Yaz and I knew what she was coming with. So it kind of knocked Dom me off my pedestal quite a lot. And and I loved that. I thought that was um makes it easy, you know. Uh yeah. Yes, I did all the hard work. <laughs> she, did, she did all the hard work. I did nothing. Um <laughs> yeah, it's just it, I was just like, Yaz is so whimsical in a way of the fairies. I'm just gonna treat it like a tennis match all the time. And we were just going like the whole the and I was like this is so much fun yeah. um yeah so you can prepare all you want and get to know them and understand the motivations but it's about listening to yeah. what the other person brings and you had prepared an incredible dom and I was just like this is the guy like um yeah thanks so much it was an amazing film and you both did amazing thank, thank you. you thanks Riley over to Katia Katia Hey guys, um, one of the things that um, I really love is Yaz is like being the one to get David out of his funk. We don't normally, it's the guy doing that. And I love the fact that the woman is leading it and she's showing up for him and, and, and not letting him wallow and kind of like reminding him that, you know, this too shall pass you're going to be okay. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that? Because we don't see that, especially 
in black films or films that feature black leads where the woman gets to be the joy you know she doesn't have to do the heavy lifting but she does it in a fun way yeah it was um it was so fun like it was just really really fun to you know I was the one riding the noble steed I was the knight in shining armor yeah. <laughs> and um yeah like it um but also that was it was motivated by wanting to save Dom, but it was also motivated by her wanting to escape herself, which was interesting to straddle both of those things at the same time. Um, but yeah, I love like something that's brave to disrupt conventions and this film is, and you know, um, people are multifaceted. Some women are meek, some women are bold, some women are gonna come save you, some women are gonna put you in the danger, like, and all of those stories are valid. And I'm glad that we told this side of it because it's, tr it's true. It's totally yeah. true. And 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 to, to Vivian's merit as well, she did that, yeah, again, made it really easy for all that stuff. I, I really love the fact, I think for me as an actor, I'm always trying to look for new parts of our humanity and things that haven't been told. Um, or, or, or even necessarily like things that we know exist, but we don't see very much in media. And I think that there's something incredibly uh, masculine about Dom riding shotgun on her bike and letting her be there for him. I think that's awesome. And I think that um, um, there's, there's it's something nice about being part of a movie that portrays that. Mm -hmm. um, and also it's not trying to shove it down your throat and be like, hey, swallow this. It's just like, it's just like, this is what's happening and mm -hmm. it's real. So I like that. Thanks, Kathia. Um, over to Najia. Hi, Nigeria Chambers of Big Gold Belt Media. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. Um, and I knew somebody was going to speak about the chemistry because I even got obsessed to a point where I was like, I know they had to work together. It felt so <laughs> organic. Um, and, and honestly, I was hoping I could just walk down the street and to see you too, because it just was that bright of joy that you do, you know, you hope you experience in life. And uh, what a uh, amazing portrayal of 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 love and makes me want to go across the pond see what's going on over there Aww, uh, but, for, <laughs> uh, but for you two I, I would love to know on, on on another note what does the outtakes look like I feel like there had to been so much overshooting here of just things they probably couldn't use for the runtime but I could imagine y'all was meshing so, so together that it just kept the cameras running at all times mm -hmm. You got this. You got Ra this. Rain, Rain, Rain did like to keep the cameras running because yeah. we would always improv the most ridiculous stuff. The dinner scene, I truly would love to see the outtakes as well. And this is a direct request. Such like I need to see it actually because I don't know how that that scene cut together yeah. because we had so much fun filming it. We were laughing our heads off. So much improv, uh, like yeah, in, yeah in, <laughs> insane. You know, there's 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 a lot of it that you want to see and a lot of it that you're like, no, like this is ridiculous now. Like yeah. like you guys, you know, you have a job to do. To and do actually. So just laughing and being <laughs> ridiculously stupid. No, I mean uh, that is also. Uh, I think that's also part of like you're saying what made the film and. Um, I'm a testament to Rain Nana Miller, our director, who really just gave us a lot of freedom. Like yeah. I think, you know, I really need that as a, you know as an actor to like be able to like break and go somewhere, and I'll I'll come back. But let me, you know what I mean. And Rain was really awesome in letting us do that, <laughs> and a lot of that made it on on camera. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and and actually a lot of it made it into the film. We won't tell you what bits, but there's some bits. Yeah, but uh, a lot of it is on the yeah. cutting room floor that will never be seen. <laughs> yeah, so we do need the outtakes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Najia. Over to David. Hi, David Stark, uh, Watcher Pass. Uh, it sounds like from some of the answers, David, like your personality seems to mesh very well with Dom and uh, Vivian. You said that. Yaz was very different from you, but were there any aspects of like your own personality that you brought into the characters? And then, you know, follow up question was like, was there anything from these characters that you like pulled out and now have as part of you in your day to day lives? Like, you know, things that they did or things that, you know, aspects like that they liked that you now kind of have as a part of you? Yeah, I mean, I definitely relate to her love of music. Um, I definitely relate to her. Um, love of life and curiosity I think it just translates in a different way I think we all feel a lot but it's the choice to what you do with the feeling how you mm. action the feeling um yeah it's so impulsive and she just does it I would not do that but I <laughs> yeah so you because you kind of need to find those 
places that do overlap so you can kind of like make it real for yourself and then figure out how it manifests in the character um but yeah 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 i mean i mean I, uh what else would you take what would you take away from it what would i what have i taken away from yaz is her curiosity for the world verges on being romantic she's so in love with everything around her like mm. everything is fodder to use for her interest and obviously that comes from her wanting to escape from her reality but i think there's something else that could be taken there where it's just like you know and even the way Rain, Alan Miller, the director, portrayed the film, it's like fall in love with the, the world around you, like the simplicity in the world around you, the mundanity in the world around you is just as magical as like anything. And yeah, it's kind of curious in a similar way. And that's kind of something that I've pocketed. And honestly, life looks a lot nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I think as as Don think, I mean, it's, I think it's really sweet you say I'm quite similar to Don because that's, I mean, I really adore him. I think he's, uh, um, you know, in one sense, I get him because he's like a football fan and he loves his missus. But on the other, on the other hand, he's like very, very emotional. Do you know what I mean? The first time you meet him, he's crying his eyes out in the loo. Now, listen, I don't, I don't think that's very much me. I think I'm like, <laughs> I probably hold it in a, a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah. but, I, but I love that. I mean, look at how it turns out for him. You know, he finds like a really, really good girl and there's nothing lost in him being like entirely this is who I am and you know uh I think there's something like that, about that that all men anyone can take away from so I I'm, I'm trying to anyway you know we'll see <laughs> yeah no definitely I think that it's a testament to kind of finding the right match for you and finding that one person that compliments you to kind of like pull you along in your life journey so thank you so much mm -hmm. right yeah man yeah thanks Thanks, David. Stephen, do you have another question? Sorry, I was muted. Um, so this is a film where uh, the sense of place and the locations are very important. We were speaking with the director earlier about that. And um, I know you've both done a lot of theater acting before. Um, what was it like going from performing on stage to performing in, you know, this neighborhood where the outdoor character of it is so important? <laughs> uh, do you know what? On stage, every day is obviously you're doing the same thing, but on every day is kind of different. There's a new energy a lot, and you because you're doing the same thing over and over again. And doing a film which is based over one day is kind of similar, but because you're revisiting the same day again and again. But South London and the energy and the fact that it's a, the silent, it's not silent, it's the loud third <laughs> character really gave you kind of what an audience a new audience every night would give you where it's like there's a different energy in the room okay we're gonna play off that or like we're gonna sort of lean more into that or there's like you know a cowboy moonwalking we're gonna use that there's a guy leaning out his window like smoking a huge spliff we're gonna look at that South London is so mm -hmm. rich and rain and rain really wanted to capture its nuances and um yeah, so transitioning from that space to this film specifically was kind of there was like a strange similarity yeah. in, in a in a way, you know. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, echoing what 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 Viv said, you know, it, it is, uh, I, you know, there's 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 no there's no such thing as like stage acting or film acting. There's only just good like good acting, hopefully. So so and I think good I acting. Even sitting on that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> but, you know, but like you know in, in a sense what i'm trying to say is that you that know right. you, you have to like absolutely absorb what's around you and, and south london was like yeah like we said like our third character so taking that in felt like well, exactly what you do with an audience on a stage you know have them come in to you and just like vivian knocking me back and all that stuff so yeah it was it was it was character it was, building it, character building yeah. That's that's yeah. yeah that's great Thank you, Stephen. Riley, do you have another question? Um, I mean, I guess, uh, how did you like the directing? I, there's so many colorful flourishes and there's so many like cutaway gags that I really enjoyed. How do you think that added another level of personality to your characters? Oh, so, so, so much, by the way. And again, you know, I feel like as actors, we're so vulnerable because we kind of don't know how things are going to turn out at all. Uh, that whole directing style, I've, re I've realised, like, after the show, after the film has premiered at 
Sundance and, and I'm like oh she's really managed to lift the work that I did into something that feels way more accessible and like nice and uh, so that's that's an absolute like Rain Allen Miller has to take all the credit for that and our wonderful editor as well because yeah, yeah they 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 spend too much time with my face which is I don't I wouldn't wish on any on any on anyone so yeah <laughs> apart from you <laughs> oh, yeah I, I like it <laughs> thank, thank you, you. thank you um um no uh yeah it's, it's a love letter to South London so South London being captured is super important I think there had to be a communication between us and the environment because it's so much about the place the place is the third character um so um, it needed it shine and we needed to respond to it so I'm glad that it came across yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely it was just gorgeous thank you thanks, thanks Riley over to Kathia hi guys um the other thing I like is I was speaking with the director just about the fact that there's black joy in this you know what I mean we can we are rooting for these two because it's just normal people problems. You want, you know, you want David to be, you know, to get over this horrible girl. How important is that? How much fun is it for you to play that? Because, you know, so much of the work that's given to you guys in this medium is usually, it's very heavy. And while that's important, it's also important to have balance and just sometimes see us just being, you know? Um, what was, why do you feel like that's important and, and how much joy was it for you to just be, be able to play regular people doing regular things? Um, yeah, it was super, felt super special. You know, when we were at Sundance, Nathan Byron, one of the writers, he had said that as a, he's a black man and as a kid, his life was really joyful. Like he's had a really joyful life and he just wanted to make a film that was happy. And that honestly was like one of the, the purest sentiments I've ever heard expressed. And I was just like, you did it chief. Like you just, <laughs> you've made something which is just like, cause and him as a person, he's just like a ray of sunshine. Oh, man, so and awesome. yeah, I just, I, you know, it's, it's really, um, all, like you said, all stories, all black stories that are told are, are valid and we should hold space for all of them. You know, like we go through the entire spectrum of human emotion, like anything else, we have very mundane lives. We have super, like the supernatural, we can be in any space type of type of thing, but like to, to impart happiness onto another person is like great. We all want to experience joy. joy. It was awful, wasn't it? I could hear how awful it sounded, <laughs> but I just had to get to the end of the sentence. No, it was good. No, it yeah, but we, awesome. well, yeah, yeah, I joined you. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you enjoy joy. I did. Yeah, you enjoy joy. Look, I, I, feel, I think <laughs> totally jumping on, 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 on what you what you said. I think you know. Uh, the sense of being is something that I think I'm I'm always trying to find in, in any character that I mm. do uh, the, the sense of being able to exist as a black man or you know in, in anything that I'm in I think that that simplicity is something that I'm always looking for but being allowed the space to do it is another scenario entirely you know and I think Rain really gave us that space Peckham also did as well because we understand that area so it was really easy just to exist and it wasn't pining uh, for some to be something yeah. deeper or yeah. to have another yeah. message I even remember talking about um you know one of the later parts in the film when there's some friction and I was just like you know maybe it's a bit you know it's, it's a lot for you to make mm -hmm. that confession and Rain kind of was just like to me it's not that deep though is it and I was like <laughs> actually it's not I was like they literally just met that day like and I was like <laughs> and but like I appreciate that because uh, you yeah. could just be like let's go for the, the heart pull on the heartstrings but it's you know there's lightness in like when serious thing happens serious things happen as well and Absolutely. I think just you know devoting to making something which is just happy for the most part and joyful is yeah. you know and true you yeah know, that's, it's, think, it's I, real like yeah, I think I think beyond everything this this film is to me definitely true and I'm like I'm like a hypercritical as well of like you know of like of something that's good and it feels and for it to be good for me it just has to feel true like, I'm like I, I recognize that Peckham I recognize that sense of like love and, and energy just joy, and, you know? and joy it's like yeah. a day at the park and going to an ice cream van you go home and that was your day and it was fantastic yeah, and I'm not really a big fan of ice cream and even my own lactose intolerant fine, yeah. but you know <laughs> you know most people aren't so. I didn't know that I didn't <laughs> one crazy. I'm sure you must have no I swear I didn't oat milk always oh yeah oat milk chives sorry Sorry. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we've got time. 
for just a very quick question. We've got about a minute left. Najir, if you want to take the stage. Absolutely. Tapping in for the uh, lactose intolerant folks real quick. Um, listen, mm -hmm. when, when a film is really good, you take these characters home. And now that, uh, you know, some of the world has had a chance to, to love this film. I couldn't help but to think now that this chapter is done, where do we see these two characters go in fantasy booking? Oh, the man. genre and what's the plot? The, the alternative timeline, Dom and yeah, Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, oh, I, you know, what? In, in a way, I'm like, this is like a good place to leave it, isn't it? Like, it's a good place to leave it. But if we had to make make it go further, I think, I don't think I'd change it too much. I think I'd, I think I'd take, just see Dom a little bit a couple of years later, and I think he's, like, loving dad life, like, young dad life. You I put can, a you in a room. Yeah. It's new, waiting about, you know, Dom, he's all or nothing. So is Yaz. Yeah, they would probably like having, end up having well, a, third, a child, kid maybe. or like literally the day after the last moment of the scene, Yaz would be like, I've got the ick and she'll leave. <laughs> like, cause she's that impulsive. Savage. So you just never know. But <laughs> yeah, I don't want to dent the fanfic. So in whatever timeline they end up yeah. happy ever after. Whatever with, you guys think. With <laughs> some kids, <laughs> whatever you think, you are valid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you yeah. okay sorry david wanted to get in a very very quick question go ahead super super quick question to close us out possibly possibly the most important question of this interview do you wave at boats <laughs> yes do you actually though no nah, well yeah i like, judge you no like i would like i 100 like would you know if someone waves you and me at a boat i won't just no but no. without someone else waving would you wave at the boat depends on my mood really yeah but I would. The point is that I would. I'm not like, yeah. No. I feel like it feels... Um, would you not? No, I would obviously wave at a boat. I'm not oh, insane. I'm straight. <laughs> there you go. Um, I think it's like an instinctive thing. I don't know. Like It's like a childish impulse that takes over when you see like a boat or like, you know, the, we have really British things. If someone like drops a plate, we'd be like, Ole. it's just like, why did I even do that? <laughs> and so when I see yeah. a boat go past, my hand just goes up and I'm like, it's in the air. I guess I'll wave it, you know? Uh. I also li like the feeling of making someone feel maybe slightly uncomfortable. You know, when like someone waves at you and all of a sudden that you're like, you don't like, I, I quite, I quite like that. That like <laughs> just jolting someone out of their, their, no, just normal. <laughs> you're just, you're just bringing joy to someone's day. You'll be joker. <laughs> Sorry. Done. Thank awesome. you so Thank much, you. everybody. That's all we've got time for. Thank, Thank you much. so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. That was David Johnson and Vivian O'Para talking about Rye Lane, which comes to Hulu on March 31st, 2023. It is a fun British romantic comedy drama that has this just fantastic style and just this upbeat vibe and this great chemistry between these two stars that you just heard from. So definitely check it out on Hulu on March 31st, 2023. And if you like this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.